it's Morgan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the book Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Now if you don't know what the book's about, it's about the March sisters, Joe, Meg, Beth, and Amy, and we follow them from their childhood to their adulthood. Joe wants to be a published author, and when she was younger, she would write plays for her and her sisters to perform. The March sisters befriend their next-door neighbor, Lori, who has a crush on Joe, but Joe doesn't realize it. Joe wants things with her sisters and Lori to stay the same forever. However, she soon realizes that things can't stay the same for long. Now, if you haven't read the book, there will be spoilers in this review, so stop watching if you don't want to be spoiled. With that said, here's my review of the book, Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I saw the Little Women movie with Saoirse Ronan as Joe, and after seeing it, my mom was surprised when she found out that I had never read the book. So I did, and I'm really glad that I did. Yes, there are some things in the book that are a little dated, but I still really liked it. So thanks for the recommendation, Mom. And I also really love the songs from the Little Women musical. While I was reading the part where Joe, Meg, Beth, and Amy were rehearsing their play, it made me think of when me and my sister would perform plays with our neighbors in our backyard when we were younger. We would decide what the play would be about, and then we would rehearse it for a while, and then we'd perform it for our parents. It's a really nice memory to have. Beth's relationship with Mr. Lawrence was really sweet, since it started off with her being scared of him, but after he found out about her love for the piano, he let her play his piano. You could tell that Mr. Lawrence really cared about Beth, especially since he ended up giving her his piano as a thank you for the slippers that she made him. And it was also really sweet when Beth went to thank Mr. Lawrence and hugged and kissed him. It was understandable why Amy was hurt when Joe and Meg wouldn't take her with them when they went to see the play with Lori, but she should have known that burning Joe's story as revenge would not have a good outcome. Yes, things ended up working out, but if Amy hadn't fallen through the ice, who knows how long Joe would have been angry at her for. I also thought it was interesting that in the movie with Sir Ronan and in the book, Amy burns Joe's story because she's jealous that they went to see the play without her. But in the musical, Amy burns the story because they wouldn't let her go to the party that Joe and Meg were going to. But they both work for the storyline. I didn't like anyone in the Moffat family when Meg went to their party since they judged her based on what she was wearing and since people only started to pay attention to her after she was given a makeover. I was glad that Lori was at the party since he was the only one there who liked Meg because of who she is and cared about her and her family. I already knew that Joe cared about her family, but that was proven even more when she sold her hair to help her father. I knew it was going to happen, but it was still really nice to see that Joe would do anything to help her family, and that she didn't regret doing it, but she did miss her long hair. It made sense why Hannah didn't want Joe and Meg to tell their mother that Beth had scarlet fever since they didn't want to worry her while she was looking after their father. But if Beth had died without them telling her, 
that would have been horrible. So it was good that they ended up telling their mother. But it was also really sad when everyone was happy because the doctor said that Beth would be alright since I knew that she would end up dying later on. I did feel sorry for Meg when she got a fake love letter from John that was actually written by Lori, but I already knew that Meg and John were going to end up together, so I was excited about that. And I was also really happy when Meg stood up for John when Aunt March told her that if she marries John, she wouldn't get any of Aunt March's money. It was understandable why Joe was upset when Aunt Carol invited Amy to go abroad with her since Joe wanted to go, but to be honest, it was kind of Joe's fault since Aunt Carol said that she was going to invite Joe, but changed her mind because of Joe's behavior. But it was really nice that Joe didn't do anything to make Amy feel guilty, even though she was upset. I really loved reading about the friendship between Joe and Professor Bear in the letters that Joe would write home. You could tell they really liked each other, and it was nice that even though Joe was away from her family, she wasn't alone. I did feel sorry for Lori when he confessed his feelings for Joe and she didn't feel the same way since she only sees him as a brother, but if I'm honest, I actually prefer that Lori ended up with Amy and Joe ended up with Professor Bear and I prefer Joe and Lori as friends. It was really heartbreaking when Beth told Joe that she wasn't afraid to die but would be homesick for Joe in heaven. I know that Joe wanted to believe that Beth would be able to get better, but Beth knew that she wouldn't. Yes, Joe loves all of her sisters, but it's clear that Beth is her favorite. Even though I knew that things would be okay between them, it was really sweet when Joe and Lori reunited and Lori told Joe that he had married Amy. Even though Lori was upset when Joe turned him down, it was really nice to see that he forgave her and was happy with Amy. One thing I thought was interesting is by the end of the book, Joe hasn't published her own book yet, but in the movie with Saoirse Ronan, it ends with Joe seeing her book being published, and in the musical, Professor Bear tells Joe that someone wants to publish her book. I did like that in the book, Joe does say that she hasn't given up the hope that she will write a good book. It was nice to see a little bit of what Joe's life was like after marrying Professor Bear and opening the school, since in the movie with Sir Ronan, the audience is left unsure if Joe really caught up to Professor Bear or if that only happened in her book. And we see her opening the school, which kind of confirms that she did catch up with Professor Bear since he's at the school. And we also see her watching her book be published. And the musical ends with Joe and Professor Bear getting together at Amy's wedding and Professor Bear telling Joe that someone wants to publish her book. The musical and the movie's endings are great. But I also really liked how the book ended. Thanks for watching, guys! If you read the book, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And if you want to see any of my future videos, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!